Alright guys, it is about 8 o'clock at night and I'm heading around to my sister's, she's just offered me dinner. As you guys know, she um, she offers me dinner a lot and I usually take it. So luckily this time I hadn't eaten in about 3 hours. Um, I did, after I trained legs, I went and did an hour's worth of cardio. I just went for a walk down the street. It's actually my first cardio session outside of the gym so far. So that is good. Hopefully it continues. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head over there now. Uh, I had thoughts of training shoulders um, as well today, but we'll see. I do have an afternoon shift tomorrow, so I start at 2 o'clock. Um, and so, you know, I'll be able to sleep in if I want. Um, so most likely I probably will hit shoulders on the way back home from uh, Anna's. I've got my... Got my gym key. So I already know. I already know I will be hitting it. Um, so that'll be front, side and rear delts. And I'll be taking some footage. Um, I really, really smashed the footage in the gym like the first week. I got pretty much every workout on video, which is awesome. Um, you guys will have seen exactly how I train now, um, which is you know time under tension based, nothing too heavy, but still you know the intensity is always high. It's never you know it's always 110% balls to the wall when I need to. Um, I always make make uh, time to warm up on every single exercise. I'll at least do one, if not two, warm up sets just to get used to the movement. Once I'm, once I'm good, I can start lifting some weight. So that's how I train. Um, that's how I'll always preach to people to train. You know, I'm a natural bodybuilder. I'm gonna gain nothing out of squatting fucking four plates, or trying to squat four plates. You know, that's ridiculous and it's probably never gonna happen. I have squatted 160 for two uh, arsed grass reps. So I've squatted 140 for for like five by five astagrass and you know at the moment obviously I'm, I'm only using a hundred I definitely don't feel strong enough to do 140 for reps at the moment I'm feeling pretty stringy and weak so yeah maybe maybe next leg day I'll make sure I have a cheat day or a cheat meal at least before I train because you know training legs on, on not many calories is, is not fun it's not fun so anyways um, I don't know what she's, oh she's actually cooking tacos for us tonight, so that's good. Tacos with five star lean beef mints. I've, man, I've educated her, it's it's funny that she, she used to buy the three star mints which has more fat in it than protein. And she's like, oh what, you know, why, I hate it when I cook the mints because all the, you know, all this liquid comes out of it. And I'm like, yeah, what the fuck do you think that is? It's fat, man. Have a look at the label. And, and understand what you're eating and um, and so now she does and it's it's fantastic you know she understands the, that beef mints should only have five grams of, of fat per hundred grams not 20 something fucking grams it's only got 20 grams of protein per hundred so anyway she's learning she's made awesome progress I'm really proud of her and um, she's making some awesome din dinners now so you know I've pretty much converted her from having it's, it's awesome because she used to get like pizza and stuff every night and I'd go around there when I'm dieting and I wouldn't be able to have anything and so I've converted her now so when she does get food I can go around and I can eat it all so <laughs> that's pretty good see how we're looking so we're pretty much done with the shoulder workout started off with the side laterals about probably about 10 sets rear delts did about six or seven sets and I've been doing some pressing movements um, on the seated shoulder press and dumbbell standing shoulder press. So what I'm going to do now is my final set and I'm going to film it. It's going to be a drop set uh, standing dumbbell shoulder press. I'm going to start with 20 kilo dumbbells, go to 15 kilo dumbbells and then down to 10 kilo dumbbells. Now obviously standing it's a lot harder than sitting so that's why the weight is considerably lower than what I'm, what I'm normally going to use um, for shoulder press but it definitely creates a good pump and this is just a finishing exercise for me, it's my last exercise. Uh, so let's hit it. <laughs>
That's it for shoulders. There's the aftermath. What is going on guys? It's Friday. I've got about a couple of hours before I need to be at work and I've got to do all of this shit. So let's get cracking. Better take a picture actually or else I'll forget everything. But would you look at that? Look at that sky. That's beautiful. And I'll tell you what, I am pretty damn tired this morning. Pretty damn tired. <laughs> Having second thoughts about growing my hair out as well. Really don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, um, I've been a bit slack with the purchase of the investment property. I've I haven't been calling people back when I need to. So basically today I'm going to go into see my bank manager. Luckily he's a mate of mine. I can go into his office anytime. I'm going to go print out some forms that I need to send back to the conveyancer so they have all of the information they need. Um, I'm then going to give all the conveyances information to the bank so they have all the information they need. I've done everything I can. Those two will then uh, liaise when, when and where they need to and um, the house will will be put into my name in due course. So I really need to do that because <laughs> both parties don't even know which other party I'm using at the moment. So that is not good. But as well as that, I have a massive fucking Telstra bill that I need to pay. So I'll be getting onto that as soon as possible, which I don't really have the money for because I'm putting it into the house. So it's like, I'm gonna need to set up some, I'm going to need to set up a payment arrangement or something um, just to get them off my back. I do need Telstra and I do have, I've got my Foxtel through Telstra, I've got my internet through Telstra now, my Wi-Fi and I've got my, my mobile through Telstra so my Telstra bill has pretty much at least doubled if not tripled recently so really need to get on top of that but basically my 100% focus is just on getting this fucking deal over the line. That's my 100% focus and basically I can tell that after this deal goes through I'm going to be thinking about my next one straight away. So, uh, yeah, anyways, better get to town, go see this guy. So to wake me up I've got, I still haven't got some amino energy, I'm still going on the gold standard pre-workout. Which I'm so sick of. I'm sick of the taste. The taste is shit compared to amino energy. So I really need to get some of that. I might do that. Um, but yeah, last night I got those meals. Um, 20, 20 meals. Chucked them in the freezer. The freezer is absolutely packed. So I haven't actually had one yet. But when I do, I'll show you. And I'll show you the, the, um, the different kinds of meals I got. Unfortunately, the one that I like the most holy meatballs which is whole grain pasta and lean beef meatballs with a tomato sort of pasta sauce um, the macros are unbelievable and the taste is so good but I only had they only had two left so I got two of those and I got a selection of other ones for that one but um fuck it's funny man you know this whole vlogging thing I see I see other people doing it and I think I always think, you know, if they're vlogging like daily, I think, fuck man, do you really feel like vlogging every single day? And the truth is, man, I don't feel like vlogging every single day. And it's funny, like, <laughs> just before I was just waking up, I was like so slow, I was thinking, oh fuck, you know, I can't be, I can't be asked saying anything to the camera, I'm feeling shit, my voice sounds funny, and then I put the camera in front of me and it's like, right, let's go, right, okay. And then I'm awake. It's like, if you really have to, you can sort of wake yourself up and be be bouncy like that. And you know, if only I could channel that at work, because when, when I get to work and I'm tired as hell, there's no way I'm gonna be like doing that. But for vlogging, apparently I can. 
so that's kind of weird but yeah this I mean this series is is really important to me clearly I'm putting in so much effort into it um, vlogging every single day for you guys I basically want to show you the way I live my life my lifestyle um, that's allowing me to you know work a full-time job um, get in the best shape of my life do real estate deals go on holiday maintain a good diet etc etc the way I train you know my my morals my values I, I want to bring across everything um, within this series and then I can look back at it and be be really proud be in great shape and look to the future and hopefully have a few more subscribers because of it so that's what I'm hoping for and, um, thanks for coming along for the ride I know there's been heaps and heaps of episodes I just hope that you guys are still tuning in and enjoying it because I am for sure all right so I was a little early it seems but that's all right I actually knew the customer that he had in there it's funny as man like Alice Springs <laughs> especially when you got a guy who, who manages police credit union there's only one guy in town every single customer he has I pretty much know So when I go in there, I'll get the lowdown on what he's trying to do. Let's see if he's trying to copy me and get an investment property. All right, we are done with that, at least. So I have the details of my conveyancer. I need to transfer $700 into the trust account uh, for them to start their work. That I obviously don't start without a deposit. And I've also got the section seven sorry schedule seven uh questionnaire that i was meant to send back like two weeks ago with all of my details all of the financing details everything on there so that the conveyancer has everything they need as well as the deposit so they can start um, doing their job and organizing settlement with the bank so that feels really really good that's done credit card has been paid now i actually need to call telstra and try and extend this freaking payment arrangement, keep them at bay. Um, and what else did I have to do? Let me check. See, I knew it was gonna be a good idea taking that photo. Done that, done that, done that. Renew driver's license, fuck. Um, nah, can do that tomorrow. Enter in foods from my fitness pal, okay. So yesterday, I did eat uh, quite a bit when I went around to my sister's place. It is fucking oh, bad influence, man. I tell you what, she is such a bad influence. But I did get my only, um, my only Easter egg, which was a lint Easter bunny, a hundred grams. So let's see how much. Five hundred and forty-eight calories. Right. Okay, that's going in. What else did I have? I had bacon and egg pie. She, she's been giving me that like every single time I go there in a Tupperware container. So I've got like all of her Tupperware containers at home now. But this fucking bacon egg pie, I tell you. How much is it? I've been putting it in like one slice every night for the last four nights. And it's 450 calories, I've decided. So that's going in. I had two cupcakes as well, but I actually put those in yesterday. Um, what else? Oh, I had a protein cookie. Fucking hell. Where is it? Protein cookie, Lenny and Larry's protein cookie. Da -da 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 -da. Pumpkin spice, which is so good. You guys want to try pumpkin spice fucking Lenny and Larry's protein cookies. Damn, they're good. Oh, and there's, yep, I know there's a reason why I didn't put it in last night, because with three things, the Easter Bunny, bacon egg pie, and the protein cookie, I was at 1,418 calories. Which ain't good, man. That ain't good. So this morning, I haven't eaten yet. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. I've got to be at work at 2, so I've got to go home quickly, get changed, and then go. Um... And I've probably done about half an hour's worth of walking. 
so you know may have done 150 200 calories possibly uh, but it's definitely nowhere near you know negating what I had last night so I'm a bit pissed off about that to be fair fucking sister she makes up like real healthy meals for me but she also has these unhealthy snacks that she makes and it's like well I can't I can't see her eating those and me not have any can I it's not gonna work oh well anyways I'm still feeling I'm feeling fucking lean like I'm feeling like I'm tightening up slowly slowly I could be doing it faster basically that's that's like my only um, regret but we're going well I'm under 90 kilos haven't I literally have not weighed myself since I started this so it's nearly been three weeks I still haven't weighed myself um, and I started at 92.7 on the 14th of March um, it's the 2nd of April right now and we go to New Zealand on the 5th so fuck man I can't wait I cannot wait so anyways I'll uh I gotta go man but I'll see you guys in the next clip look it's my old car this is this is my car I had for like four years and sold it to someone in Alice look but I tell you what guys I got so fucking sick of it but it still still does look pretty sick I must say I think he's painted the wheels see you later that's funny I bought it for like I bought it for nine grand in 2011 from a guy in Melbourne and I got it at like 80,000 K's and I sold it at about 130 I think 130,000 um, four years later so did a few K's it was pretty good it went from fuck it went from Melbourne to Adelaide, it went from Adelaide to Alice, Alice to Adelaide, Adelaide to Alice, Alice to Darwin, Darwin to Alice, and then that was about it, I think, over four years. So it was it was pretty good, but fuck, it got unpractical, man. Way too small in there. I, my, it would hurt my back, like my head nearly hit the fucking ceiling, and yeah, things were things were stuffing up because it's like you know, twenty year old car. Um, so I much prefer this one. This is this is fantastic. I'll grab my computer. I'm going to take my computer to work today um, to try and make some more of these episodes up, and we will be off. Had to get one of these. Ice cold. Fuck yeah.